Hello, this is Caroline Four with another video. Um, after I got my crystal cover home button jam thingy fixed, uh, I can finally go on Internet Explorer. So I've decided to show you one of the best features in a PSP, which is offline portals. Now uh, I'm gonna make this nice and quick. One of my favorite portals is uh, the Windows Vista portal, and I already have it downloaded. It's called PSP WXP. The latest version is 3.7, I think, by Quaz, Q A Z, and you can download it h here at www.savefile.com forward slash files forward slash five three two eight zero three. I repeat save file dot com forward slash files forward slash five three two eight zero three okay anyways um uh, you download it and it will be in a zip file and you got to right click and extract here and it will give you a folder PSP WXP so after you do that basically plug your PSP in through the USB there you go okay now that PSP WXP that file folder that came out after extracting you gotta copy it and just paste it here into where your PSP starts up it'll take some time as it is a big portal and one of the best portals it gives you the Vista theme and the Luna theme which was supposedly the Vista theme before Vista before they made Vista also gives you PSP tunes, um, antivirus, loads of games, not homebrew. Um, uh, it it cannot break your PSP. Gives you a calculator. Um, PSP tunes. Uh, well, gives you loads of stuff really, and it is one of the best portals out there. I'll show you in a while when I show you on the PSP what it's like and it's exactly like Vista you have the bar down here and you can press start and then go and then you go to my computer and then you can go into where it says my uh, removable devices and then it shows your memory card thing and basically it's it's a great portal it has everything you need it also has mp3 player and um, if my memory is correct, they make it look like the latest Windows Messenger. Also, it gives you an organizer, something about weight, temperature. I don't know, it's a great thing. Okay, it's there. Disconnect your PSP. And then go to your PSP. Hello, this is Karam94. I'm going to be showing you now how to actually find uh, get the PSP portal to work off your PSP. Just get the camera right and there you go. Now internet browser. Um I've already got it open but as to open it from the beginning you go to bookmarks. Well I've bookmarked it at least but you guys will have to write in the little little HTTP file thingy which will be in the description right um uh, sorry i can't do anything about the brightness can't help i mean us psp owners can't do anything about the psp being so great so just consider yourself lucky that this isn't a ds which is even more lighter anyways um we got the internet the lovely m m moving cursor and it doesn't really have a tail like that, it's just slow frame rate. 
my PSP, text editor, calculator, PSP tunes and game a game list. The game lists are a bunch of flash games, really. They're a good bunch of games. And don't forget, if you like certain flash games which aren't available here, you can always add them on yourself. Okay, you have the good old Vista taskbar thing. Press on it, PSB. You can actually change your name and icon and stuff. Uh, there's also PSP tunes, which is supposed to be like iTunes with a green music sign on the CD. And then you, the internet is basically if you want to go on the internet whilst you're on the internet browser working offline, which I find no sense with, but anyway, it gives you a nice. Uh, fake version of the latest internet 7 I think okay anyway you get in my PSP which is supposed to be like my computer the my documents the applications which are brilliant you they vary from about PSP WXP, aid finder, alarm clock, analog clock antivirus but that needs the internet so I'm suggesting that it's one of those fake antiviruses things that actually bring a virus Basic calculator, browser info, calendar, clock, coin flip, day of birth, day organizer, dice roll, distance calculator, internet, MSN messenger, note list, percentage calculator, periodic table, phone number, converter, PSP, DF viewer, PSP phone, Roman numerals, converter, schedule, scientific calculator, state info, um, stopwatch, system info, te text editor, timeline, conversion calculator, country info, pixel fixer which is very handy P PS uh, paint which is like paint you can draw and stuff and update okay now go back yeah there's also the games control panel like about display you can change the background screensaver stuff themes stuck pixel fixer Use it editions. And then devices with removable storage, PSP memory card. And well I think well, at least I think that's it to PSP PSP tunes. I've just gone out of PSP tunes and back into Windows Vista. And that's it really for Windows Vista PlayStation Portable. It's a nice bit of rubbish, to be honest. Uh, I think it's about 5 to 9 megabytes, which doesn't waste a lot of space. And it is offline. The only thing you need to go online for is the strange antivirus. And in the first place, I'm not sure how to get a virus on your PSP. So uh, um, you can find a couple of... Uh, these portal thingies at PSP Demo Center. Um, uh, ah, see, I just got there is not enough memory. The page will be reduced. Blah blah blah. So I've got a little problem here. Well, but um, so far I'll fix that later. I'm gonna make a video about that problem after I actually figure out how to fix it. And uh, this is Cam94. If you have any questions don't be afraid to ask and uh, this theme I currently have uh, the background is from PSP Demo Center and the theme is a nice theme um, I like nice and simple themes which actually look cool at the same time is from uh, PSPthemes.net so this is Caram94 just turned on the light, see you later